hello and welcome once again to another exciting tutorial today we are going to design a 3d business card mockup right inside of blender 3.0 if you're a graphic designer and you'd like to add 3d to your design workflow please consider subscribing as i'll be bringing you more content later now let's get started i'll go to general so i'll be greeted with my default cube my lights and then the camera so I'll select my cube here. I'll tap N to bring out my transform property and I'll go to item. So I'll go to dimension uh, the, on, the, on the Y axis. I'll do 3.5. Now I'll leave the X axis at 2. And then the Z, I'll do 0 0.0. I'll do 0.2. Okay, let's do 0 0.02. And 2 is obviously thicker. So 0 0.02 we have something like this okay i'll do control a now i'll apply my scale i'll go to add modifiers now I'll add my bevel modifier to it so that we bevel the edges i'll increase the segment to some like four and then the bevel amount i'll do 0 0.009 it's fine for me I'll right click and I'll do shade smooth. I'll go to my objects, normal. Now I'll take auto smooth. So our card is ready and set to go. So let's add our design, our, our business card design to the front and then the back of our card. So I'll go to viewport shading mode so that I can see what I'm doing. I'll drag, I'll hold and drag this place. Then I'm going to divide by holding and dragging this is to create two workspace. I'm going to change this workspace to my UV editor. Now change this one, my shader editor. Okay. We have something like, we have this. Let me bring this down. Okay. So by default, a, a shader is, a material has been applied to our cube. Let's rename it to card. We have this. Okay. So let's jump tab into edit mode i'll select and then face select mode i'll select the face here i'll go to my materials property then i'm going to add a new slot i'll give it a new material by clicking here then i'll change the color the base color to any default color for now let's rename this to front okay so with the front selected the front face selected I'm going to hit assign to assign it to the front. Let me bring my camera here by using my middle mouse. Then I'm going to select the back. I'm going to create new slot, add a new material, and then I'm going to give it a default color for identification purposes. Then I'm going to name it back. With a back selected, let's hit assign to assign it to the back. Okay, so we have red at the back and then one at the front. So let's add our business card design. I've already designed my card inside of Photoshop. Let me find it quickly. Yeah. So I have my back here. And then the front here. Okay. So let's import them into Blender. It's in, it's, if you want to do your own design, I did 3.5 inch width and then 2 inch height. So with my front card selected and my front material selected, I'll come to my shader editor. Make sure you have Node Wrangler enabled. If you don't, go to Preference, Add-on, and search for Node Wrangler, and then enable it here by taking this, checking this box. Okay. So with my Node Wrangler enabled, I'll select this this shader here, this node. Now I'll do Control T to add an image texture to it. Let me bring this here. So I'll do open and then I'll locate where I saved my business card. So in this case, it's in business card front, front image, JPEG. I'll do open image to open it up. So it's now opened here. Make sure I have this face selected. I'll do U, then I'll do unwrap to unwrap it. Okay. So it's facing upside down. So to correct that, let's rotate our UV so that this faces 
let's rotate our uv on the y-axis so that it faces the right direction so to, to rotate our uv i'll come to the uv editor i'll tap 3 for face select and i'm going to select this all this and i'll do r for rotate y and i'll tap 180 so now i'll cut this facing the right direction okay so let's do the same for the back i'll do r for rotate x and then i'm going to rotate it on the 180 degrees uh i'm coming sorry let's jump out of edit mode i'll do r for rotate x and then i'll tap 180 to rotate it 180 degrees on the x axis okay so i'll select my back here i'll select this and then i'll do shift ctrl t to add an image test channel to it i'll go to open i'll locate my back design then i'll hit open image to open my image with my back or tab into edit mode face select and then i'll select this face okay i'll tab view and i'll do unwrap to unwrap it properly so now our business card is ready and set to go let's check if everything worked properly i'll do r x then i'll rotate so this is our front and then this is our back okay so our card is ready we've applied our material successfully so let's add a little bit of texture to our material to do that come here i'll do shift a and i'll set for noise i'll select noise texture shift a once again and i'll do bump bump node so with my noise texture and bump node selected i'm going to plug the normal into this normal here then i'm going to plug my color into the height so we have something like this right Mm -hmm. so let's decrease let's increase our scale to something like 70 and then decrease the details to zero and increase our roughness a bit and then our distortion let's do five for distortion so we have something like that let's decrease our strength to 0 0.1 and then distance to 0 0.1 as well so it's a slight but then it's there we have slight texture here so let's add one to our front to do that let's select these two nodes here Control c to copy i'll select my front now i'll do Control v to paste now I'll plug my normal into the normals here okay so it's applied to the front as well let's quickly set up our camera and light i'm going to do shift a shift a to add a plane now I'm going to do S to scale it up like this. I'm going to bring my keta here. I'm going to drag to bring up another workspace. So this is where we are going to set up our camera. Tap. I'll hit this to toggle my camera view. I'm going to zoom it in like this. And then I'm going to tap N. I go to view now lock my my camera to view and once more so we have this okay so let me scroll and i'm going to change it to my viewport shading mode i'll hit my render settings and i'm going to choose cycles and i'll change my device to gpu compute so we have our cycles render working here so that we can preview whatever we are doing inside of this one So let's let's rename this plane to background and then let's add another board i'll do shift a q x for scale and i'm going to scale it up like this i'll hit this to to view it in the right orthographic view i'll do s for scale and i'll tap z to constrain it to the z as i'm going to scale it in like this so i have something like this okay let me tap here once more i'm going to bring it up until it's online with the display so i'll do g z and then i'll bring it up like this we have this let me turn on my gizmo so to do that i'll come to my i'll come to this icon here i'll select this to turn on my gizmo so I'll, I'll hold this thread here to move it on the 
text as this. I'll move it to somewhere here. Let me scale it in the y axis. So I'll do S, Y, and I'm going to scale it up like this. We have something like this to work with. So I'll select my card. I'm going to bring it up. So at this point, I'm just playing around with my composition. Feel free to do the same and find what works for you. Yes, experiment. And then the more you experiment, the more you learn. So I'll do Shift D to duplicate. I'll bring it up like this. And then I'll bring it here, somewhere here. I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to flip it on the on this axis 180. I'll do R for rotate X and I'll tap 180 to flip it so that I'll see the front and then this will be the back. Okay, so let's add our lights. I'll select this light point light here, X for delete, and then I'm going to delete it. I'll do shift A light and then we add an area light. Let's bring our area light up. Let's do S for scale. Let's scale it up like this. Let's come to our light properties. Make sure your light is selected. And then let's increase the power to 300. Let's change the shape to disc. And then let's scale it up a little. Okay. So I'm going to turn off all these icons so that we don't see anything in our camera view. Now hit this this and then i'll tap t to hide my tools as well so we have only our camera okay so we have our lights let's duplicate this light Control d shift d to duplicate i'll bring it to somewhere here then i'm going to use point this yellow thing here let me bring it back a little no s to scale it up and i'll bring it here and bring it back now I'm going to increase my power to 500. Okay, let me bring my this card up like this. Then I'll bring this light up. Now scale it up. We have something like this. I'm just playing with my composition. Just play around and find what works best for you. So I'll select my background. Then I'll add a new material to it. I'm going to change the base color to something like this. Then I'm going to increase. I'm going to change the base color. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And I'm going to make it metallic as well. Now increase my roughness to right about 0.8. I'll change. I'll select this board. Now I'll add a new material as well. I'll make it a different color. I'll increase my darkness. I'll make it darker. Then increase my roughness to about 0.9. So that is very rough. It is not a reflective surface. Okay. So our business card is ready for render. Let me increase our lights to let's say let's do 700 okay so that it's nice and bright and our picture is not underexposed so to render i'll go to my render properties i'll leave everything on default make sure my denoise is state if you want a higher sample you can obviously increase this or you can increase this to make let's say 200 percent so that you get a 4k so I'll come down, I'll go to my render properties, I'll come down to my color management. I'm going to change the look to medium high contrast. And I'll change this from filmic to standard. And then I'll go to my render, render image. And then I'll render my image. Alright guys, so this is my final render. To save this as JPEG, you go to you go to save, go to image, save, and then I'll hit file format. I'll select JPEG. I'll increase my quality to 100. Now I'll do, 
I'll change my name to let's say business card to JPEG and I'll do save image. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share and like. See you on the next one. Thank you.